Express with Kansime. Yes, and how are you? Jared, where are you from? Huh? Jared, where did you sleep last night? And the way you're marching in here as if there's nothing wrong with what you have just done. No. You didn't come home last night. You're not understanding. Why you forgot it? No, the curfew. Jared, which curfew? Uh, we were the other side. Then they were out of the blue, they just said curfew. And when they sound curfew, all of you stop. Where are we? Which, where you are we? stop and sleep until like 6 in the morning. Which country are you talking about? When Uganda. Which curfew do they say? So when they say they stop, you did the statue, you stopped where you were? They, I, when they curfew, they, they hear curfew, seven, all of you, mm, you sleep there in the morning, you go. Where exactly did they stop you? Where? That you couldn't come home. That you couldn't walk home. It's a curfew. Where ya? Where ya? There's no it address. Was, it, there a place called curfew? It was dark. You see, at se now at seven, you can you walk at night? What did you mean so can you walk at night? It was dark. Go back. You go back, Gerard. Go back. Let me just know that you have gone. Eh? So you don't you won't even beg? <laughs> so you won't even beg to stay in the house. You don't want to be with me. That's how no, tired you are of this marriage. But Anna, you're just not telling me. Jesus Christ. Anna, you've just told me to go away. <laughs> so you also march away immediately to a place where you don't know. No. A few where it found you somewhere in an address you don't know. I have to go because of, because of time. I don't want to move aimlessly. I have to beat time of what? Of a curfew. Okay. You want to beat time of curfew to a place which you do not know. The one that you have failed to explain where a curfew stopped you at start. But you're the one who has told me to. You see, for, when we are moving, at curfew at, 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 at night, when we are doing what? Uh, when we are moving. The curfew does what? It stops you then you... Why do you keep but, saying we? But who, I, I, also. Who, who do you be with when you are going for, for, for curfew? Who, who, who usually... Who do you find yourself with when it's curfew time? Why do you, why do you insist on certain and me have curfew? When we anyway, me have, have you you decide now. Either I, I go for curfew or I stay here. Because as for me, I've decided I want to be where? Here. But you, you decide if you want me to, to be here or to go for you tell me early. Because time is also moving. Do I not have anywhere to be for a few or so? So that or so me, I don't come back one day and we see how this man deals with it. Mm -mm. I would rather go to the shops at least. I'll find somewhere to be. So that even if he also gets to suffer the way he makes me suffer. I've forgotten the mask. I'm just stuck between a virus and a bad marriage. The mask is here. Hey. Eh? Gerard, who are you expecting? Who are you expecting? What? You look like a thief. You're dressed like a thief. What are you doing here? Who is this? Who are you? Madam, I've come to pick the rubbish. Take it. You saw it. You take it. Madam. What? You, you have to give me the money. <laughs> Which money? For the rubbish. Uh, please, let me see if I get this corrected. You want me to pay for the rubbish? I am paying for you to take rubbish. Do you know what rubbish is? Do you know what rubbish is? Rubbish is something useless, totally unwanted, something I do not have need for, and uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm just getting rid of it. So I pay you to get rid of rubbish. Leave it there, leave it there, and we see whether I, whether I will not survive another day with it. I pay you, me, I pay you money. Can't see me, me, I pay you money for rubbish. Do you even see those two? It's even grammatically wrong to put rubbish and money in the same sentence. Why would I pay you? Why exactly? Exactly what? No, please. Don't, don't, I'm not foolish. Eh? I'm not stupid. Stop. Stop. Passing. So this is what happens when I'm not around. My husband goes around throwing money, giving money to those who are taking rubbish. I'm not my husband. And I'm not going to pay you money for taking rubbish. I will not do that. Why am I even making noise? 
He just thinks they're supposed to be taken for free. The, uh, don't I pay tax? Don't I pay tax? Do, do I have to pay? We are a private company and we, we deal in rubbish. Mm, and you say it with pride. You know, we are a private company and we deal in rubbish. You seem to be happy. Happy with what you are doing right now. So, just like others sleep in their sleep and they dream about their businesses. When others are sleeping, saying, oh, the containers are stuck at Mombasa. Oh my God. Oh, my products are late. Others are saying, oh, 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 taxes have increased. Importing and exporting is very hard. Oh, you also wake up in the morning and tell your wife, oh, rubbish. Oh, the rubbish I picked is not decomposing. Oh, it has not decomposed. Madam, the rubbish I'm... I have has polythene. Are those the things you've been dreaming about? I am not here to be insulted. Insulted? Boss, I am not insulting. If I was insulting, you'd be feeling pain right now. Me, I don't insult with words. I insult physically. Actually, I assault. I do not insult people. So if I decided to insult you right now, you'd be in pain. What insult can I abuse you anyway? If I said rubbish, you shouldn't take offense. Because when I say rubbish, you should, you should be seeing Dora signs only. Because for you, when you think of rubbish, you think of money. It is money in your eyes. You be seeing money when I say rubbish. As a matter of fact, this is what you're telling me right now. This is rubbish. All this, this conversation we are having is total rubbish. So, stop saying I've insulted you, please. Stop misplacing those words. Stop. How much is it, by the way? How much do you want me to pay that? It is 20,000. Ha ha! Hey, mama! 20,000 Ugandan shillings. Whoa, way! So now even getting rid of rubbish is going to be expensive. That is a lucrative business. I am going to enter it. I'm going to enter that business. I also start going to my neighbors and pick rubbish. And I'm given the money. Then I bring it here and I give it here and you take it. So what if um, someone does not want to pay because I see this is where this whole conversation is heading? Madam, of course you have to pay. Oh, what? What will you do? Mm -hmm. What will you do? Because me are suggesting, if you have taken rubbish from my place for what, two weeks? Let me come to your house, I also take rubbish for two weeks and we become even. Because I don't see myself, me, can't see me Anna with my hard earned money paying you. Me, like 20, what? 20,000. When I'm a stay-at-home mother, you think I dig money, eh? So I laugh, I laugh, I smile, I open my mouth like this and I get money. Hmm? Mama, get out of my compound. Get out of my what? Eh? My compound. Madam, so what should I tell my bosses? What should you tell your bosses? You need a solution. This is what you're going to do. Record me in your books as a bad data. You say this particular customer got bankrupt. This customer here is bankrupt. Alternatively, tell your boss that when you got here, people are like, whoa, 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 whoa. someone had died while in a VG. And then when they ask you, say, I died. So you can die. Say, I died. And I will see if your boss is that inconsiderate, coming to ask a dead person for money, for rubbish. Please, all this is, you're wasting my time. I was taking an afternoon nap, and you are here making me waste, waste. Get out of my compound. Get out and leave those, don't, don't, don't leave those things there. Take them, I'm giving them to you for free. Take them, I don't want them. I, me, I can't see my pay my money for rubbish. You haven't met me. Don't mess with Kansime. Okay, you can come in, madam. Thank you. I even saw you through the window <laughs> when you were parking. <laughs> oh so have you brought, you've, how many boxes have you brought? No, actually, I wanted to first find out how many boxes you want, then I, I deliver. They are outside in the van. Yeah, okay uh, then. Yes. We, you're going to give a box, um, a box for each office. We have six offices. A yes. box for each, yes. but for the human resource office, they needed an extra box. So uh, I'm thinking you don't give uh, it to a them. A minute, please. <laughs> Someone said. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. No, the network is not clear because I think because I'm traveling. Oh, I know. I know. I'm so sorry. I got some stuff. I got some problems. Yeah, my mother apparently is on oxygen. I lost a brother last week. I couldn't come. I couldn't. I couldn't actually deliver. No, right now. No, I'm not in town. Unfortunately, I'm in the bus. Yes, uh, yes. I'm. I'm in the bus. First, drop into the hospital. Then later on, I'll come to town. Later on, either later on or like after two days. It will depend on the condition of my mother. I know. I'm sorry. I, I normally don't operate like that. 
Mm, no, but I, I, I'm in the bus. I'm in the bus. I will come. I promise I will come. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll see you. Sorry about that, madam. Sorry about which part exactly? You interrupting our conversation with a phone call or you saying that you are in a bus? Because I'm lost. No, I need to, you're very courageous. Because by the time you can arrive boldly in front of me, I'm also a customer, and you write to another customer in front of me, that makes you very special. You are a special breed. Maybe a, a special breed of stupid. Because I, 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 do, I don't see how you can... Uh -huh. Where is the exit? Emergency exit, in case I've missed. Where are the 16 passengers? You said you're in a bus. You see, by the time you're lying to me, now, here, when I'm steady and you lie, it means really, next time I'm with a car, please. Uh, no, no, no boss. Me, no, How do I know that you are a woman, for starters? Because you could be a man masquerading as a woman. No. Since we are now lying. Madam, that when, one... When I'm here, <laughs> that one what? It, open, it happens once in a while when I have so many customers, hey. for example. You so know, you've become an expert at lying that you scared you eat. It's once in a while, particular oh, days. Oh, you write particular really, ones. When, really, at what really. point, when are you going to be lying to me? And how do I even know that your, the products you're bringing us here are not counterfeit? Oh, oh no, please. Madam. I, I usually forgive things, but someone who can interrupt a conversation with a phone call, and on top of that, you're lying in the phone call. Am I a conductor? Am I a bus conductor? Why are you saying you're in a bus? It was inevitable. Oh, please, step out of this bus and get out. Get out of the bus, your lift is over. Mm. Step Madame, out I and do not give me any surprise. Oh. Who knows what it is that is in those boxes? I might be ordering four papers, and before I know it, you're bringing me empty boxes. Bassi. Wow, that's original. Just don't mess with Kansime.